Hello, parents. Welcome back to another conversation starter. Uh, Pastor Mario here. No Dawson, uh, one of our youth leaders who usually is doing these with me. Uh, he's actually getting married this Saturday, if you did not know. Um, so he's he's planning, he's doing this whole thing. But uh, I'm actually not here in the United States right now. I'm in the Dominican Republic, um, and I'm not filming this in the Dominican Republic. I filmed this beforehand, because um, I don't leave until Saturday, June 11th, which by the time you get this, I will already be in the Dominican Republic. But that being said, um, I just wanted to continue to do the conversation starter anyways. So I'm filming this a little bit beforehand. We had our first youth group of the summer this past Wednesday, yesterday. Um, for me, last week for you as you're watching this, and it was great. It was wonderful. Uh, a lot of kids came out. And it was great. We had some kids who came to the gym. We played pickleball. We played basketball. We were playing music out there. It was really fun. We ordered pizza. Then we had youth group here. And it was just really good. Really good time. And uh, as you know, we did things a little bit differently. We did kind of an interactive uh, lesson this past youth group. And it, it turned out to be one of the best youth services I'd say. And it wasn't because we had new kids. It wasn't because we had loads of kids. It was because the interactive lesson that we were doing, we were focusing in on just five verses in John. Just five verses in John. We were teaching the kids about inductive Bible study. And we made sure to let them know, like, you know, realistically, you're not going to be able to do this whole, like, four-stage process every time that you read the Bible. Sometimes you just have to read it and let it soak over you. Sometimes you have to read it before you go to work and just ponder it throughout the day. But other times, if you have the time, it's good to unpack and really dig into a passage to really understand what it's meaning, what it's saying, and what God is intending to communicate to us in our day through what the writers, in this case, John was writing to his people in their day. And so it turned out to be great. We split kids up into four different teams um, and each team had a section on the wall, which over here, and you'll see it on the B-roll, you have uh, observation, interpretation, you have key words and cross-references, application and prayer. And so we just split kids up and we told them, focus in on your thing, and we explained what each thing meant. And we had commentaries, we had study Bibles, we had everything in this table. You can't see it here, but there's a table right in front of me. We loaded that thing with commentaries and study resources, and we basically just let the kids do it. Like me and the other leaders, my wife, Mark, were available for the kids if they had questions, which they did, some of them. You know, we went around to each station and said, you know, how's it going? You know. We kind of gave some insight, but for the most part, the students did everything. They unpacked everything. And at the very end, we had each group go around, read uh, what they got and unpacked and dug out of the passage. And by the end of the time, we had an entire sermon preached by the students. <laughs> I mean, there were analogies, there were creative ways of explaining things. There were examples. There were great application points. There were prayers that were actually fueled by the passage and what we got from it. And I mean, it was all the kids. It was all the students. And so it was great. It was a wonderful time. A lot of them learned some new stuff about the Bible and kind of how to work with it and labor with it, which was our goal. Um, and so we're going to maybe do this often, right? The, kid, the students really responded well to this, so we're probably going to do this often. Um, but for you parents, this is great for you because I, I saw firsthand the excitement that the students had for the Word of God. I saw firsthand that they were excited to actually dig into the passage when they were given tools to actually do so. And 
uh, ways of doing it that, that they can understand. And I think that this way, they really understood it. And so for you guys, this week, since there is no youth group, there's going to be no youth group uh, Wednesday, June 15th, because again, I'm, in, I'm out of the country right now. Dawson and Jerrica are getting married. Uh, and so we just, we just canceled youth group for this, this week. But what you could do during your devotional time, whenever you do it, it would be great if you went back to John 1. The passage that we unpacked was John 1, verses 1 through 5. Five verses, that's it. And what you could do, I don't know how you guys usually do your devotional time, but maybe challenge your student to communicate what they what they unpacked in youth group that past Wednesday of verses one through five to you and kind of almost lead the devotional time to you or to the family. Um, and all they're really doing is pretty much just describing everything that they already did in youth group. And so um, they already know how to do it. And it was just, uh, yeah, they, they knew what, they know the, the, the sections, and um, if, you, if you don't know the sections or if they can't remember, again, it's in observation and interpretation, keywords and cross-references, application, and prayer. Just four sections. Two of the sections are split, so technically there's one, two, three, four on the two sections, but you could do whatever you want. <laughs> but I would encourage you to do that. I would encourage you to lean into the excitement that your student has for the scriptures. And I mean, like, really lean in, like really dive in, like go back, read it again, maybe have them explain to you what they learned and how they unpacked this passage, and then maybe move on to, you know, verses 14 uh, through 17 or something like that and do it with them again. Be like, okay, show me, show me what you learned. Show me how, how did you unpack that? And I mean, this, we really want to foster this, this excitement that they have for the scriptures and for the word. And so I would challenge you parents to really dive into that. I would challenge you guys to really lean into the excitement that your students are having for the Bible, for the scriptures, and, and to understand it. And I think when we do so, um, their excitement is only just going to grow, and, and they're going to really just continue to, to practice uh, this this type of Bible study, which I think gets better with practice. And so um, I told the kids that in the Dominican Republic, uh, the Sunday after I land, which by the time you l listen to this, that Sunday's already gone. I told them that I have to preach at the church we're going to be staying at. And the, th the way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to use what they came up with by this inductive Bible study and use that as the sermon. So technically, the sermon that I will give on Sunday will be what the students came up with from this passage. And so I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, they seem pretty excited about it and I'm excited to, to tell them about it. So I hope that this week is a blessing for you guys. I hope you guys are able to have some great spiritual conversations with your student. Hope that they are just as excited as they were on Wednesday regarding this. Uh, and yeah, again, if you have any questions, you can email me, mario at discovercommunity.org. I will be, be back in the States June 18th. And so then I'll be able to answer emails and everything. Um, but if you have any questions, again, email me. Don't ever hesitate. And I pray that you guys have a blessed week. Bye. Hello, parents. This is Pastor Mario. Uh, thank you guys for joining us for this, this week's Conversation Starter. If you want more um, ways that you can engage with your youth, you can check out the uh, other Conversation Starters here on my side. Thank you guys for joining us. Hope you guys are doing well.